Recurring profiles are a popular model that open card stores use to set up repeat payments. They are used when you want to sell products by subscription over a specific period of time. So let's show you how to set them up in your OpenCard 3 store. Hi and welcome along to another OpenCard video brought to you by Isense Labs in cooperation with OpenCard. Okay, so how to use recurring profiles in OpenCard 3. Step 1 is creating a recurring profile. Go to your catalog and click on recurring profiles. We already created a profile for $10 a month, but we'll create a new one to show you the step-by-step -step process. Click the add new button and start with the name for your new recurring profile. This will be shown in the storefront where your customers will need to select it, so make the name easy to read and understand. It could be something as easy as $19 a month. So the section called Recurring Profile contains the parameters needed for your store to know the value of the repeat payments, its duration and frequency. Ok, so the price will be 19 and this will be the amount that your customer will be billed each payment. The duration that we set will be 12 months, so 1 year. This means that the entire subscription will last 365 days, after which the customer will not be billed anymore. The cycle will remain at 1 and the frequency will be set to month, meaning that each payment will occur once every month. If you set the cycle at 2, for instance, and the frequency to week, this would mean that the customer will be built once every 2 weeks. Cool? Ok. Now just enable the status and we are all set here. We'll explain the trial profile section in a bit. What we need to do now is click on save. This actually takes us to step number 2, which is assigning the profile to a product. To do that, go to your products and select the product you want to have recurring payments. The tab we need to focus on is called Recurring. We already entered the previous profile we had and now we'll just add a new one. Simply click the Add button and select the profile you just created. You have an option to enable it just for specific customer groups, but we'll leave it for the default one for now. Ok, if we're all set here, Click save again. Now let's check how it looks in our store. So this is the product that we set up. The payment profile field has appeared right above that to cart button. You can see the two profiles we have created and assigned to the product in the drop down. So basically that's the whole process in a nutshell. Your customers select the profile they prefer and check out with the product like with any other. Now, there are two questions that you might ask yourself, which are what about free trials and payment processing? Ok, so step number 3 is creating a trial period. Go back to your recurring profiles and create a new profile. Give it a name like free trial or anything along those lines that you decide. To create a trial period, you still need to configure the recurring profile itself. So let's give our profile a price. It's important to know that the price will be activated after the trial period you set up has ended. Now configure the rest of the details and enable the status of the recurring profile. Scroll down to the trial profile section. As you can see here it's pretty much the same like the recurring profile. If you want the trial to be free, just leave it as zero. We'll see the trial duration at 1 and the cycle at 1. The frequency will be set at month. This means that the first month, the subscription will be free. Again, enable the status and click save. Now, since this is a new profile, you need to assign it to your product as well. Let's repeat the process and then click save. Now let's go back to the store and see the results. So as you can see the free trial is part of the profiles and your customers can make the checkout with one month free of charge. It's pretty cool. 
And now to the last part, which is payment processing. In order to have recurring payments available for your store, you need to have the right payment method enabled. By default in OpenCar 3, there are two payment methods that you can use. PayPal Express or Square. We'll go ahead and use Square for this tutorial. Go to Extensions and then select Payments from the drop-down. Scroll down and find the Square payment method. Click Install and then Edit. You will need to go through the setup process which is shown in another video tutorial we did. When you're all done with Square, you now have a payment method that supports recurring payments. Now we are ready to complete our checkout using the free trial profile and by entering our credit card information to confirm our order. Okay, so let's go back to the dashboard and show you where to find the order that we just created. Go to sales and hit recurring profiles. Here are all the orders we've made with recurring profiles so far. They all have their own recurring ID, order ID, customer name, status and date. You can view and edit them like the normal orders in your OpenCart store. Ok, so that's basically how the recurring profiles work. We hope you learned something new. Click the like button if you did and subscribe if you want to keep getting better at growing your open card store. Stay tuned for more upcoming open card tutorials and thanks for watching.